Hello everybody, I am Musky Light. Thank you for stopping along. Um, I said that I do a little bit of a QA and a and just go through the comments. There's not an awful lot of questions, there's quite a lot of comments this week. So I said that I'd go through them this morning. Um, it's extremely late here. It's been one of those days and it's like 10 to 10 at night now. Uh, and I've still got the other video to do, which I will do. So, um, a lot of really, really nice comments and I'm not going to go through everyone because I just, it feels a bit like I'm going on with myself. Um, but, um, Kathy Kane on my Weekend Angel cards of last week, I think, or the week before, um, in response to the, the guidance that I gave out, um, Kathy said, somebody returned from my not so distant past, but I've already made a firm decision about him already. I had a physical clearing yesterday evening and while I'm feeling a little bit weak, I'm going into the weekend with clear intentions and tons of love for my tr trusted friend who I'm having wine with tonight. Tomorrow will be filled with music, dance and laughter for sure. Out day, outdoor, all day concert in a beautiful park in the foothills of North Carolina in USA. So I said I wanted to go with her. I didn't get a ticket, unfortunately. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you for the comment. That was wonderful. And yeah, when the energies are really high, um, you can feel a bit weak. I know quite a few people have wanted to sleep a lot more than usual lately. Um, and it's your body's catching up with the, the higher energies that, that we're having to cope with um, as we go through ascension, as we go through things um, and it is it's our bodies just trying to absorb the energies catching up and sleeping is a really good way and resting as much as you can when when the energies are so high um, Vicky Ferrer thank you very much I hope my health and finances get better I really need it too and you have beautiful dogs my doggies get more comments I think than I do and and they just well they sit and they howl and <laughs> sometimes she just lies there in the background um, my my lighter coloured um, husky that you usually see me behind me is actually a girl A lot I know a lot of you get mixed up um, she's actually a girl now Fussy Do Flamenco I hope that Chris in Vatic sees this um, comment of yours oh my goodness there you are doll it's shining just like you this was to a video I did ages ago with Chris and Vatic who you can find on YouTube as well who he's part of my soul group um, I think we, we we've come to the conclusion he was actually my brother um, because of the age age difference and everything he, he was actually born after my brother died and um, so that's a really cool cool way but she's put there she's put this comment on <clears throat> uh, saying that he's a doll and, it, and uh, the card that he was holding up is shining. Um, I just googled you to see if I could get an idea of what you look like uh, to create for you and there you are an actual video and then in brackets I love Husky by the way thank you Fussy Do Flamenco because the comments on my my channel <laughs> uh, nice to see you Chris and Vatic so hopefully Chris will get that I might forward it to him actually um, Sonia little owl picture advised me on how to sort out my manifestation video and getting it onto Amazon you sent me an email about three weeks ago something like that and every time I thought I need to answer you I need to answer you and something else came up so thank you thank you thank you um, for helping me out with that I haven't got around to it but I will I keep saying that I will but I will um, and, and thank you for the, the nice kind camera she said because I started going on camera next week to do the weeklies um, and it is it, it, it depends what mood I'm in when I when I do them sometimes I'm all right and I'm all bubbly and everything and sometimes I feel a little bit self-conscious about it so I was really pushing myself and just thinking just you know get more used to getting in front of the camera more um, you'll still find mornings when I do the angel cards when there's not a chance on earth that you'll see my face because I will have crawled out of bed, got my daughter off to school, whatever, and, and I'll, I'll, yeah, and it's much better for you. 
I promise you, I would probably lose some subscribers if I actually showed you first thing in the morning. Um, so Mel North and Tracy Houlihan, thank you both to you for your, your really kind comments. Um, say, no, say no rock, don't be shy about the camera. Um, and yes, the doggies are so, so precious, so cute. Um, Kate Lewis, thank you for commenting. Kathy Kane, Amy Mullet, thank you for com commenting. Uh, Linda, Lucinda Rowlings, Linda Laid, Melanie Laid, sorry. Uh, Cheryl Ann McFarland um, on my Lionsgate 888 said, the 8th of August is my birthday and I spent it at the zoo with my grandson. So we certainly did visit the lions. So what a brilliant way to spend the 8th of August with the lions and the, the feline energy that uh, came out then and is still around us as well at the moment. Diana Garcia, thank you. <clears throat> Joseph Corey and Marianne Porcelli. Um, brilliance of intuitive insight you are blessed with. Your voice is calming, especially in tough times. Thank you. Um, and just thank you for sharing the doggy with the viewers. Um, he absolutely makes my heart warm. She does. Thank you for sharing and devoting your heart and spirit within these readings. Love and light. Love and light to you as well, Marianne. Thank you. Now, um, I've had an email from somebody um, who needs my help and I'm, <coughs> her name's Tracy, that's all I'm going to say. Um, but she actually brought up some really good points that I just wanted to put in this video. Um, she's waking up she's starting to go through it um, and she sent me an email just asking for a little bit of help and I'm not going to read all the email because I'm going to um, answer her personally as well but I just wanted to mention a couple of the things because I've been through the third eye opening and I've been through all your chakras opening I've done the series on that um, your emotional how it affects you physically emotionally um, but she mentioned a couple of things that I've not mentioned in the videos that is happening to her, which I probably happened to a lot of people because it did actually happen to me as well. Um, first of all, she reached out to another psychic who, who sent her a free reading of talking about the men that she was going to meet and, and the chance of money coming through. And I completely agree with her that at the time that you're awakening, that's not really what you need to hear or want to hear. You want validation that what you're thinking, seeing, hearing is not you going completely nonas and crazy, um, which you are not at all. And there is a lot of changes that you do go through while this is happening. So she did, she used, she used to read the cards years ago and she put them away because of certain circumstances. But she says that since May of this year, um, which is the start of sort of the start of summer and our energies and our awakening process seems to go in waves and it usually starts around April, May and goes through um, to autumn. That is the main time, that main chunk in between when there seems to be a very uh, large awakening and being more intuitive and being more psychic and everything it seems to be all compressed into that part intuitive the rest of the year but you re if you're going through the awakening process you will notice that during those months it seems to be much more prevalent and there's an awful lot more lessons to learn within that so she's noticed that she's really upbeat at the moment which is fantastic um you're obviously waking up a lot slower than i did um uh, without the, the fear and everything else, as I say, mine just all opened up at the same time. Um, she's been growing a lot of veg lately. Um, she's seen people in a different light. She's seen that people are carrying baggage, emotional baggage around with them. And she's been very aware of that. Um, and she doesn't get, but she doesn't understand why. And she's getting the headaches. Um, when she closes her eyes at night, there's a purple vortex spinning. Um, her intuition has grown and she's having two, she had two dreams happen this week, which happened the day after she had the dream. So she had dreams, uh, which actually became reality the day after 
um, which is your manifesting, which is one of the, I don't know if it's a side effect or a gift, I would call it a gift once you understand it, very, very much a gift that, as in my case, everything I see here, do today, will be repeated tomorrow <coughs> in one way or another. Um, but also, as I'm going to do another video on this as well, you will see here and things that are, that is your angels guiding you um, in the the way that they want you to go for your highest good. The headaches that you get is your crown chakra and your third eye starting to open up. Starting to uh, eat more vegetables, drink more water, is you just becoming aware as you awaken, as you awaken up that you want to look after your body more. The <clears throat> correlation between eating less meat, eating more vegetables, drinking more water, becoming more healthy, it's not just, um, as I've done a lot of research on it lately, it's not just um, because you're awakening up, obviously you are awakening. It's not just to keep your body healthy though, it's actually to keep your third eye and your pineal gland healthy. When you eat uh, dark green vegetables, when you cut out meat, it is all things to decalcify your pineal gland. Also, um, stop using fluoride in your toothpaste, please. <laughs> I'm going to do a separate video because I actually find it really important and I've found out just how important it is lately. Um, fluoride kills basically your pineal gland and will calcify it and in order to decalcify it, you have to stop taking any sort of fluoride so there's a lot of fluoride in the water it's basically poisoned um, they added fluoride to the water a long long time ago to the water supplies um, to reduce um, tooth decay and cavities and said it was good for us but in actual fact, it calcifies. It puts um, like a, cal a deposit of calcium, which crystallizes and is hard um, over your pineal gland in the middle of your brain. It sort of collects there and covers it and stops it working. So I'm I I'm probably not going to get quite too deep into that one yet because I'm going to do a separate video on exactly what you should be doing to clear your, ca your pineal gland and decalcify it. Um, but suffice to say, I think somewhere, somewhere along the way, the government actually knew what they were doing when they decided to put fluoride. It wasn't just for, wasn't just for tooth uh, health when they put that fluoride in the water. They knew that it would do that to your pineal gland. Um, another sign of you waking up is you will be able to become aware of what the government is doing in the churches the organizations and the control that they want and the programming that they have over us that they've had over us for years now as long as our pineal gland is calcified and we're not awake you don't see it and that's exactly how they want you to stay so when you start to wait when you do start to wake up you will start to think do you know what I want to eat more vegetables I want to drink more water um, I want to be more healthy, I want to be more organic because all of these things, whether you know it or not at the time that you're doing it, you're doing it but you don't particularly know why. It's to clear your third eye, it's to clear your pineal gland. Um, as I say, I'm going to do a separate video because there's a lot of things you can take, a lot of things to clear your pineal gland, decalcify it, make it stronger, make it healthier and I'm going to go through the foods to avoid. I'm going to talk to you about acidic foods and non-acidic foods basically anything that is acidic, milk, dairy products, cheese, um, noodles, all sorts of things can ruin um, or are not good for your pineal gland. So I'm going to go through the, the good foods and the bad foods in another video with you. <clears throat> but yeah, as you're awakening your subconscious, your higher self, your higher consciousness is gently giving you these hints and tips all the way through saying you've got to eat healthy and you don't know why at the time, but that is why that's why you're just becoming aware that your mind and your body are very connected and you want to look after it um, and she's actually growing her own vegetables now now I started I've done I did it on i actually started about five years ago growing tomatoes and that um, tomatoes are excellent pineal gland 
non-acidic and they're really good I'll go into that and they contain melatonin I'll go into that in another video um, so even if you've not got green fingers if you've never planted at anything in your life once you start waking up you'll actually take start to take a real interest in growing your own stuff wanting to be natural and healthy and growing your own vegetables which she's she started to do um, your purple vortex thing that you see spinning when you close your eyes um, is another sign of awakening it's another sign of your third eye opening up purple is very much associated the color purple is very much associated with psychic awareness intuition your third eye um, so it's another sort of validation saying hey look you're seeing purple things when you close your eyes really yeah because you're waking up you're not crazy at all um, I know that when I close my eyes sometimes I will see a grid um, which looks like a silver um, like a netting sort of thing in silver metal and it's and it's the it's the matrix grid that I can see around um, and I will get that when I close my eyes um, she mentions she's seen the glitter things you will actually see like tiny little pieces of glitter in the air part particles around you as you look around once you you're fully awakened you don't see them all the time um, but you will see just little glittery or little sparkly lights as you look around again that's just, there's one in the corner of my eye there that's another thing as you've awakened um, what are the, there's so many different things you also as I say you get a, you get a lot more aware instead of being in the little box that you've always been in when you wake up you sort of break out of the box and you're looking at things from above looking down looking at the bigger picture of things looking at what's going on around you suddenly becoming aware of as I say what government is doing how life is changing around you in not a good way um, how all you want is peace you don't want war you start to get very humanitarian um, quite quickly um, very caring very compassionate very emotional over over things wanting to change the world in some way um, looking for your twin flame when you're starting to, to wake up as well is another thing that this soul drive that you have um, to want to be with the person that you're meant to be with your life life partner who you know can be a soulmate or a twin flame which is another video again but you have this thing but that at the beginning a lot of that is you balancing up your male and female inside you whether you're a male whether you're a female whatever sexual gender you know sexual connotations you have it really really doesn't matter we all have inside us a mixture of male and female and it has to be balanced within us as we're awakening to become a more balanced person to become more compassionate more loving find unconditional love that is another thing that has to get balanced within us so you will see a lot of that um, as I say the dreams and then it happening the next day that's very very common for you um, you might start to freak about <laughs> which I have done in the past I've freaked in the past as well when you do something and then it comes true the next day and you're whoo um, or a year later or several months later things that you've been thinking of come to fruition um, I had uh, my fences were fixed by the council a couple of months ago um, and I swore somebody had phoned up the council and, and done it for me somehow some but somewhere somebody had somehow arranged it to go and get my my fences fixed because I really needed them fixing and I had no way to do it I didn't have the money to do it um, and the way it happened was they'd fix somebody else's fence that they shouldn't have done and because they'd done that they had to come and fix mine and I swore somebody had phoned up and somehow arranged it for me and it wasn't it it was me manifesting it because I really wanted the, the fences fixing I really needed them fixing because of the dogs I'm not wanting the dogs to escape and again I wished for it and it happened it council are not supposed to come and fi fix fences over here it's not the way it works um, but I manifested it and that is what happened 
but it took me, it still took me a little while to go, oh, I did that. Nobody did it for me. Nobody made a sneaky phone call to, to the council and said the fences need fixing. It was actually me manifesting it. Um, and there is still times when I do it and is this little bit going, yeah, someone's pulling my leg. Somebody, somebody's doing this around me and it's not, it's, it's me manifesting all of it and it's amazing. Um, so I say eating more veg, that's all to do with your pineal gland and waking up. Um, she says that she's never done this. Um, it feels as if her body is telling her head stuff, which it is. Your body is actually telling your, your soul, your mind, and your mind is coming back down and, and coming through and telling you what your, what nutrients your body needs, what you need to feel better. What, <clears throat> when I was waking up, I went through a phase where all I kept seeing was don't drink fizzy drinks, drink water. I kept thinking, why do I have to drink water? Why, why can't I have my Coca-Cola? Why can't I drink fizzy drinks? And as I went through it and I gradually learn, I learned again that the amount of sugar, artificial flavoring, poison they put in to fizzy drinks, Coca-Cola and things like that, not only calcify your pineal gland, but they can also cause other diseases within your body. And I was also sort of guided as well not to drink out of aluminium cans because aluminium is metal and it seeps. The aluminium cans seep into the drink as well. So when you're drinking it, you're getting bits of, you're like you're getting metal remnants from it as well. So I've completely stopped that. But for, I went through that for a while and I kept thinking, why can't I drink Coke? What's, what's up with it? Um, but that's what it was. It was my guys saying, you cannot drink this. It is so, so bad for you. And you do, you just become aware of all this as you're going through. Um, and she says that she doesn't feel like her. And a lot of her friends have moved away from her as well, which is very, very common when you start to wake up. Now, when I started to wake up, my best friend had just died. Um, I'd just gone through a breakup. I'd had that, a big ton of stuff happen to me in a very short space of time. A lot of sort of disastrous um, stuff. And then any friends that I had um, started sort of moving and drifting away from me. Usually we'd have a big argument or something really bad would happen or they'd be really awful and I'd tell them to get, you know, something. But they all drifted away until your eyes, it's pretty much when you're going through the awakening process, they sort of isolate you. Things will happen to you in a series of things, of disasters like the tower falling in the tarot. And this tower falls and everything man-made and every friends and everything just whoosh, and you're on your own and you are put on your own or put more isolated in order for you to awaken because you can look crazy sometimes. You can go through instances where you think, I've gone crazy, I've got bipolar, I've got post-traumatic stress, I've got something really seriously wrong with me and you don't want, the higher self don't want people around you to be able to see that sometimes. You are deliberately isolated while you're going through it because you have to learn, you have to adjust, you have to get used to the awakening process. Um, and at the time that you're going through it, you can go through some really crazy episodes which freak you out. You know, when you start having dreams and then they start coming true the next day, um, you can imagine not only how maybe you would feel inside about that because that's just impossible, you think, but it's not but you think it's impossible and be try telling a friend that that's happening to you they'd be like no just stay away stay away and this is the reason why you're isolated you have to grow you have to learn the answers are within you you cannot ask anybody else i couldn't get in touch with anybody else once i got isolated i kept trying to reach out to people and people on youtube and other people nobody came back to me because the answers are within yourself and you have to learn that very quickly um, so it's no good it's no good trying to reach out for somebody and then somebody says gives you a reading say you're going to meet a load of men and, and a chance of money that's ridiculous you need validation while you're waking up you need to know that you're actually okay and, and you're not sick you haven't got a mental problem um, she also says at the end of her email um, as I say I'm going to write to her separately she prays to God that the angels keep 
her and her, sa and her children and her home safe. Whatever happens during the awakening, you are safe, you are protected because the angels are already around you. They're already with you. You've already started the process of learning and waking up and you are very, very protective. There may be times when you don't feel safe. There may be times when you really do want to die and crawl in a corner because you don't understand the energies are so strong and you don't understand and it is scary, but you are still protected and you have to know that while you're going through this. Unfortunately, I mean, that's partly why I do the channel that I do because you're isolated while you're going through it a lot of the time you can't reach out to anyone and they'll come back and tell you the answers so I'm hoping that when somebody's going through the awakening process when they need to see one of these videos when it is their divine timing to see it because they will have to go through stuff on their own they'll see it and then it will click with them it'll click with you and you've got I'm awakening it's okay um, but again that's up to your guides and your angels as to when you start getting the answers back through because first of all you have to start clearing um, and ha as the chakras open go through the emotional and the physical symptoms as well so she said a lot within that email that I've not mentioned um, with my chakra series so thank you for that um, Tracy and I thought it was really interesting that I could mention that to the rest of you um, I'm sure there are loads of other things as well that I can mention which I can't actually remember off the top of my head but there is this great need to become organic grow your own food you will probably also <laughs> start looking at hobbit houses um, you want to live more simply you want to start moving away from general society and the attitudes of people around you you will find that people don't understand you and you don't understand their point of view anymore um, you will stop listening to the news you probably will stop um, watching the TV because somewhere in your psyche somewhere in your subconscious your angels and your guides will start to give you hints and tips and start to help you become aware that TV shows and films and everything else are programming to keep us from waking up to keep you in that coma sat in front you know on the settee in front of your telly all the time and not being bothered about what's going on outside it, it keeps you it's almost like hypnosis where it just keeps you under and you're not awake um, but as you're waking up you will start to become aware and you will watch less and less TV you just won't watch it anymore um, you won't listen to the news because you won't want to hear about death and destruction war fighting who's chopped off whose head who ISIS are fighting um, the the monetary systems the banking systems you will not want to know or hear it you will learn about it yourself in your own time as you become awake but you don't want to be bom bombarded by that sort of information every day through the news and through the media because again that keeps your positive vibes down that keeps your vibration low so that you can't start to raise your vibration and go higher and carry on awakening they don't want you to awaken they want you to stay at a certain level and this is what it's all about so you do start to rise above all that as you as you're waking up um, and you will you'll just want to save everybody you'll get to that you'll have such compassion and such unconditional love for everybody that you just feel like you want to save the world um, you might go through what I went through and choose a superhero it's 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 a hero's journey if you look it up on the internet where you get compelled to almost choose a hero superhero for yourself and you go through a certain journey um, of learning um, of all sorts and you will see also as well when you start seeing your angel messages and everything you will start seeing owls everywhere which are a symbol of wisdom and waking up but you will start seeing pictures of owls actual seeing owls hearing owls um, you will see a lot of that um, you will see a lot about hunting you will see a lot a bit about military fighting guns you will I think most of us go through 
uh, please comment below on this this is what you know some of the things that I went through when I was waking up um, I see a lot of things like that but you just won't realize I, re I remember saying to the guy I'd broken up with at the time I'm going feeling a bit loopy and I said if I see another owl people were walking past it and they'd have an owl on the t-shirt or I'd see an art book or a notebook with a picture of an owl on the front I'd see it on the internet I'd see it absolutely everywhere and it was driving me absolutely crackers until I finally understood what it meant but at the time I just really did think I was going crackers so there is so many things that you will see and experience as you're awakening that you won't understand but as I say well yeah some of the main things you will see things when you close your eyes you will see grids or uh, you'll see red or purple instead of just seeing blackness when you close your eyes as your third eye opens you will want to grow veg you'll want to get organic you will want to put good food into your um, body and you will be guided towards the best things for you the best things for your body the best foods for your body the best foods that are not going to interfere with your third eye with your pineal gland as so I will do another video on that so so that's turned that, that question's turned into quite a long answer but it, I thought that was really important because she does mention some things that I hadn't mentioned I was m more talking about emotional and physical um, but these are other things that come to you while you're waking up um, which it's it's amazing how it works and you just sort of learn these things as you go on along or you become aware of them but you just think why so I had no idea why I couldn't drink fizzy drinks but I kept hearing it and hearing it and hearing it and eventually I thought this I need to start drinking more water because I don't know what it is about fizzy drinks I don't know why I can't drink them but there's obviously something wrong with them and I started drinking more water which helped me to awake more and get healthier and then as that happened the answers started coming through as to why I couldn't drink fizzy drinks because it, there's sugar in it and there's artificial flavourings and there's e-colourings and all sorts of nasty stuff in it which does not help your pineal gland open if your pineal gland doesn't open if your third eye doesn't open you're never going to be able to raise your vibration you never be able to going to be able to step out the matrix at all um, the false reality that we are in so a whole other video I think so thank you to everybody um, who has come who always comments on my videos um, you're all amazing and a lot of the time you will send me comments through that help me as well because obviously as I'm co-creating you you know people say things to me or I read things um, that help me along my journey and my path so sometimes if you're actually guided to leave a comment um, I will read it sometimes and within the words that you've said within that comment you will be helping me to grow as well or you will be giving me the answer to something that I have asked my guides and angels about it works both ways it always work is give and receive always give and take so right so that's the the comments <clears throat> and Tracy I will answer you separately as well but I thought that a couple of those points that you brought up were really important to say to everybody else so we've gone through 888 we're still in Venus retrogrades which is still it is quite difficult there is still people coming up from the past situations we're all reviewing past relationships the way we feel um, cutting things out of our lives after reviewing them um, and we start to go forward again around I think it's the 12th of sorry 8th of September somewhere between the 8th and the 12th I will double check um, we start to move forward again thank goodness um, it's been quite a deep time going inwards and reviewing things from the past you know and things yes old lovers have come back or old boyfriends girlfriends have come back come back and we've had to re-review those and re-review our feelings about it um, 
and it can go in a good way or a bad way. This is why we always say don't make heavy decisions, don't make final decisions when things are in, in retrograde. Um, I actually saw a video the other day talking about Venus retrograde and how the fact that somebody could come back into your life who maybe you've had a past life with and I automatically thought, ah, blue moon, the guy who offered me the land in New York, who, again, another video, but I was in a past life with him, I saved him in a past life, he appeared and that was why he's, this is why he's helping me actually, but he came through during the Venus retrograde, so we now have to wait until we're going forward again with Venus to make sure that we've made the right decisions and things are going to go and he's actually just been called away on an emergency for the and he'll be back in about three weeks just as we're going forward again so um, it's a lot of a lot of things going on at the moment but hopefully this helps you um, it's not quite a comments thing anymore is it it's more a third eye thing again but hopefully you found it interesting um, and it's helping you so um, and I will go through that other video as well that I said I'd do this morning um, about synchronicities because um, I've got some really good examples of that. That's the other video and it, this is actually bringing up a lot of videos that, that need to be done at the moment um, so I will get them done for you. So there's there's been a lot. Thank you to everybody as I say your comments sometimes help me to go forward as well. I'll sit up a bit so I like I've got a top on. Um, so namaste, blessings and light. I hope you enjoyed this um, and I will speak to you soon. Namaste.